In today's video, instead of talking about how to study effectively, I'm going to show you how I as a medical student study new content, create recall questions, and how I practically apply all the study techniques that I talk about on this channel in real time. You're going to see exactly how I apply active recall, the amount of mistakes I make while I study, and all the dumb things I'll probably be googling throughout the whole thing. But before we start, I need to get some tea. Today I'm going through two main topics from last week's case, the male reproductive system and normal growth. I start with the testes and spermatogenesis slides on one side and on the other side I open up the document of questions I've made for case 4. The plan is to go through, understand and convert all the content within these lecture slides into recall questions so that I can then actively practice and test myself on this content in all my future revision. But before I start to do anything, I spend five to seven minutes quickly skimming the entire lecture to get a general understanding of all the subtopics and main concepts that are being focused on. This literally cuts down one third of the time I spend on a lecture because by briefly going through the PowerPoint before fully diving in, I'm now way less likely to get stuck on irrelevant details. I learn what's important early on and I know exactly how much time to devote to different subtopics in the lecture. For example, here, I realized that the stuff that's actually important is the action and synthesis of the steroid hormones that are involved in spermatogenesis and that's the main thing that I need to be focusing my questions on. I've also noted down the things that I may find difficult in the slide notes. I now open up the question document and the PowerPoint in a split screen and as a second resource I decide to use a set of pre-made notes for more detail. They were made by this legend of a man called Yaffa who compiled a huge amount of notes for every case and left them for us med students. I basically use these notes as a source of understanding because they expand more on the information in the slides but not too much like some heavy textbooks would. I take around two minutes to quickly go through the PDF as well as to check which subheadings align with the main topics in the lecture and finally start converting the content within the PowerPoints into questions. As you can see, I first take time to understand information in the slides and then create question correlating to it. It's very simple. A lot of people ask me, how do you know the questions you're making are actually good? And the thing is, I don't. It's like asking someone, how do you know the notes you're making are good enough? I just try to make sure the questions I'm making fully cover the learning outcomes of each week's case. And then over time, when I go back to test myself on them, that's when I'll gradually start honing them in, adding to them, refining them. Because realistically, you can't really come out with perfect questions that cover everything from the beginning. It's more of a process. P.S. I didn't realize I zoom in this much. It's a bit weird. Um... I think I like to feel like I'm inside the diagram, or maybe my eyesight is just getting worse. Whenever I get confused about something, I give time to the understanding of it before making a question. Here, I get confused about the synthesis of these steroids, and I've forgotten about the role of estrogen in sperm production, so I start looking terms up, but that confuses me even more. So I jump to Yaffa's notes, and this really helps with contextualizing the specifics for me. As I go through the slides, I keep asking myself, okay, what do I need to know right now? Does what I'm learning apply to the ILOs? Does this make sense to me in the bigger picture. Asking these questions to myself is also a form of active recall whilst I understand the topic. I spent a fair bit of time on DHT here. It's the first time I'm hearing about it, so I get a good few questions in there. When I don't know what questions to make about a topic, I go look at past papers for context. Especially for things like meiosis, it's such a big topic, I already know it really well, and they'll definitely only be asking us about very specific details. Sadly, we don't get that many actual past papers as medics. I wish they gave out full ones. After looking at some of the past questions for meiosis, I make a specific question for that topic and try to make it similar to these past questions. After spending around 45 minutes on this lecture, I now jump to a new lecture on human growth. From reading through the learning outcomes, I know that this topic is a much bigger part of the case and I know it's going to be high yield. So for this, I actually turn the lecture recording on in the background and use the slides plus the notes to make additional questions on top of the ones I've already made. I continue to make these questions, but after about an hour of solid work, I can feel myself get restless and lose concentration. So I go for a five minute break to the kitchen where I start watching highlights of the Man City game and start chatting to my flatmate. This 5 minute break ends up being like 20 minutes, but that's the norm at this point, so I get back to work with a little snack. I've switched it up now, and I actually do some proper active recall. I follow up on what I preach and test myself on the questions I've made for the previous case. We jump into the main PowerPoint on cystic fibrosis and start to go through the questions I've made one by one. 
As you can see, I try to answer these in my head. I give my best to it and then highlight it red, orange, or green based on my understanding. I then go back to the PowerPoint to check my answers and take time to actually understand the questions I didn't know properly. I realized that the initial few questions I've made on the CFTR protein are way too easy. And so most of them are an easy green. I make a mental note to improve these and make them more streamlined at the end. I continue to test myself on the content and if I didn't remember something, I check the answer using a mix of resources like the PowerPoint, Yafas notes and random Google searches. After another solid 30 minutes of work, I realized that I was supposed to go meet my friends to go into the city center today. And so I rush off because I was now very late. As I'm rushing away, I realize that it's getting dark faster and faster every day. But I also notice how nice all the Akhams are and feel really lucky to be living here. It's looking a bit gloomy though, I hope it doesn't rain. The Christmas markets have now opened up in Manchester, so it usually gets really lively this time of the year and we all have a good time. I don't end up coming back home till late, so no more work gets done. But I hope you guys like the study vlog vibe. Definitely check these videos out to get the specific methods for the study strategies I've been using throughout. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and have a great day.